So I think the overall uh, theme of our SIG is to provide more education and research about vascular issues as they relate to migraine. Um, so recently we've been doing a lot of um, activity around migraine and hormonal contraceptives as they relate to the increased risk or possible increased risk of stroke. But we hope to expand into other topics that have to do with um, things related to stroke um, and other vascular issues, other cardiovascular comorbidities, and the link with migraine. Many of the issues uh, in migraine relate very directly to vascular disease and, and vascular issues as highlighted in the general meeting. And so we take those issues one step further and discuss with members what kinds of interests they have along those lines. The other aspect is that we also hope to do more activity related to education. So speaking to um, other colleagues, but as well as our patients and uh, the general population about vascular risk factors and migraine. Bigger um, projects that we just actually completed as part of our group was um, a systematic review looking at the risk of stroke in patients who have migraines and are using uh, hormonal contraceptives. Um, so that's actually one that just recently came out that we're excited about. Well, I like to think of it as a, as a two-way difference. So um, <clears throat> we take some of this information and join that with the individual member's interests and create projects like, uh, like the, the oral contraceptive um, project that we just completed. <clears throat> we also take the interests of the, of the members and move that forward into the main body of AHS and influence the kinds of topics and, and issues that are discussed by taking their concerns and moving them forward. So a grassroots approach to influencing the projects and interests of the AHS. So we think that's very important as well. I think it's an issue that has been around for a very long time, but I think it's now finally we're starting to recognize that vascular issues are a part of migraine disease itself. And um, I think it's a topic that there's going to be a lot of interest in, but there's also going to be a lot of new information and a lot of new evidence and research coming out. So it's one of those subsections of migraine um, that is going to, I think, explode in the coming years. Um, I think all the new um, buzz that we have around the C CGRP yep. inhibitors, um, there's going to be, you know, there's very little information about what down the line are going to be the um, side effects and safety profile. And I think that's another area where we can provide a lot of insight as well. Um, so I think it's going to be the new place where migraine is really going to start to explode and get a lot of information. Yeah, I, I agree. And especially with regard to these new CGRP drugs, some of the major concerns are about the va potential vascular effects. And so I think we're well positioned to carry those questions forward.